Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at Boyer's Studio Grade Headphones for video editing and for music enjoyment purposes. This is the Boyer BY-HP2, and luckily we've got two, so that means possibly one for you. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so on today's video, we'll be taking a look at Boya's headphones. Now, these are the BY-HP2. These are a kind of studio-grade headphone designed for monitoring purposes. So if you're into video editing, uh, like myself, then these are really, really good for getting that really, really precise audio, which, uh, yeah, we do struggle with at times here. We are in kind of strange confines. But anyway, regardless of that, these will certainly help. And I've actually been using this particular pair for a couple of weeks now, just seeing how they work. And actually, I'm pleased to say, Yes, they work very, very well indeed. So we'll go through, do an unboxing, go through the features, and then I'll talk about some of the specs, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Oh, and at the very end, you'll learn how you can possibly get a set for yourself. So let's start with the packaging. As you can see, it's the traditional Boya packaging with their signature white and blue design. And on the front here, you've got the headphones themselves. So as you can see, professional monitor headphone, uh, BYHP2, and it's engineered by Boya Sound Labs. Got the Boya logo in the top there, obviously the headphones in the middle, which I think they actually look really, really nice, really great. The sort of thing that you can actually quite happily wear out and about if you're plugging these into maybe a mobile phone, or you can quite happily wear these on a set or in a studio, and people won't think you're uh, some kind of crazy person with RGB everywhere. There is luckily no RGB on these whatsoever, which for studio purposes and obviously for being seen with them on is really, really good news. On the bottom, it goes on to mention about the cable. So you've got a special cable in here. Well, kind of special. So it's basically a 3.5 mil jack, which does come with an adapter and it splits off into a wide cable. So you've got an individual cable for each channel, which uh, yeah, there surely is some reason for that. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but certainly it should help sound reproduction. On the side of the box goes into more detail about what you actually get inside. So obviously you get the self-adjusting headphones, you get the Y cable, as we discussed, you get the 6.3 mil jack adapter and yeah, you get a bag as well, which is nice. On the back, it goes into some of the specifications. So you've got a high fidelity 40 mil driver. You've also got soft cushion protein based ear pads as well, which is really nice and comfortable. You've got uh, adjustable ABS headband, which is self adjusting. So you don't have to worry about adjusting the sides every time. It literally does it every time you put them on, regardless if you've grown your hair. Well, not that I can, but if you've grown your hair or you've shaved your hair, it will automatically adjust to your head size, which is uh, quite a nice feature actually. And lastly, it says about it being ergonomic. And I can totally agree with that. They really are very, very comfortable. So let's take a look in the packaging and see what we actually get. So first of all, you get a carry bag, which uh, I haven't actually used as yet because I want to put them back in the packaging. But you get this uh, rather nice Boya bag, which is in a kind of carbon fiber-esque look. So this is really good. So you can put your headphones, all the accessories in the bag, do up the strap, throw it in your travel bag, whatever it is, and this is going to give you a level of water resistance as well. So should your bag get wet or if it starts raining or something and you're out on a set or out monitoring somewhere in a studio, then yeah, should protect your device quite nicely. That is if you don't want to keep them in the box. Next up, there is a gold plated 6.3 to 3.5 mil jack adapter. Next up is our cables. Now this is a really long cable actually, which is a really nice feature. It's a three meter long cable and you've got a little bit of Velcro on there to uh, keep it tidy when you're traveling or when it's stored. And it's a really nice, soft, flexible cable. So that for me is a really good bonus. Quite often you find with these cables, they're a little bit heavyweight or a little bit limp and they just go everywhere and they're not very good. Whereas this is actually quite a nice thick cable, but also lightweight at the same time. So you've got your gold plated adapter on this end. So this is the end which you'd put into your either your PC or perhaps into your microphone pack. So if maybe you've got one of the Boya wireless microphone packs and you want to plug this into the receiver to monitor your talent status, audio levels, hissing, all that kind of stuff, then you can plug it into there. And on the other end, which is the headphone end, you've got a splitter point and then you've got your two jack plugs. So one is a left and one is a right. Also, if you look very closely, there is a kind of like a, a toggle on there. So when you plug them into the headphones, you twist them around 90 degrees and that locks them into position. The cable itself is three meters in length. So it's actually a, a pretty lengthy cable. So if you want to, you could always leave this plugged into the back of a PC and you've got ample cable room to have it trailing around the side of your PC and up to your head. Also as well, it's really handy if you're in a smaller office environment, very similar to what we are, then I can quite easily sit in my PC editing. And if I need to get up and move something or go and grab a box to check details or 
whatever it is, I can get up and there is a limited range of movement with that three meter cable. Also included is a warranty card, which you can fill out if you wanted to. And also there is a very brief instruction guide. So it tells you basically how to connect them up and also what is included. So let's take a look at the actual headphones themselves. Now these are actually relatively lightweight because the majority of it is ABS plastic. They're actually quite lightweight and these measure in without the cable connected around about 225 grams. So that is relatively lightweight, yet they still sound very, very good. Very, very comfortable as well. You've got a lot of uh, tension adjustment on the side. They do have quite a considerable clamping force on your ears, which actually makes a lot of sense because they are designed to be monitors. So you wanna be listening to what's going on inside rather than what's going on around you. Also, they are a closed back design as well. So that also will kind of shield or prevent outside noise leakage getting to you, which is uh, really good. The actual adjustment is, yeah, this is genius because the way it moves on this band, it basically, it will fit any head straight away. So you put them on and immediately you can barely hear yourself talk, which is great. So you get that kind of muffled sound when you can hear it. If you've got like a really bad cold, it's that kind of thing. But pretty much everything around me has been blanked out. I can't hear any of the fans in the PC behind me. I can't hear any other things in the house at all, which is fantastic. And also when I'm editing, when I'm sat at the desk there, if there's other things going on, the family are around or whatever, I can get on and concentrate, do what I need to do and not be disturbed, which is absolutely brilliant. The headband itself is uh, really nice and soft and is like a, a fake leatherette type style, which is uh, very common on headphones these days and pretty much most head and neck bands. The actual ear cups themselves actually are on a kind of like a elasticated pivot. So there's a, a pretty good amount of movement there. It's not a simple kind of two axis movement up, down, left, right. It's uh, in all directions. So regardless of this shape or size of your head or your ears, these should fit you absolutely perfectly. And we've tried it on a few members of the family and everyone's commented how comfortable they actually feel. So talking more about the ear cups, we've got the really nice soft kind of PU leatherette, soft padding on there and again, I've watched movies, I've edited videos which have gone on and on and on. Uh, recently, there was a video which we did, which is the MSI BIOS reviews, which the video itself is 40 minutes long, editing it, and then also listening to it back to put the timestamps in, wearing these all the way through, absolutely brilliant. And again, it really did speed up the editing process because I could really focus on what I was trying to do rather than kind of being distracted by outside noises. The headphones have got a kind of idiot proof section, so uh, L, and R, so if you're not sure which way, obviously entirely up to you, you can wear them either way, it doesn't really make a great deal of difference, but uh, yeah, that certainly does help. They are pretty much symmetrical, so you wouldn't really know which way is round if it wasn't for that, to be completely honest with you. So let's connect up the cable, show you how that goes. So when it comes to actually plugging these in, so you've got two cables, one is green and one is red, which is a little bit misleading because you sometimes think of green and red being kind of a headphone microphone, but it isn't for this particular instance. And they are marked up. So the red one is for the left-hand side. So just check that's the left. And all you do is put the connection in and then twist it around and that locks it into place. And the same for the other side. Just put the cable in, twist and lock. And they're locked into place. So they're not gonna accidentally pull out should they uh, kind of be tugged on, etc., etc. And again, even with the cable connected, there's a, actually quite a nice loop to it, so it's not kind of right up next to your chin, and it's not one of those crazy adjustable things which just slides out of the way all the time. So it actually does feel really nice and comfortable. Again, the sound quality is phenomenal. Now, just for editing videos, yes, absolutely great, because you can hear pretty much everything that's going on in the background. So if you need to make some adjustments in your video editing program, you can reduce some hissing noises, change the noise floor levels, etc., etc. But what is really good as well, when you're not actually working and when you want to actually relax, maybe watch some YouTube videos, watch a movie, listen to some music, they're really, really good for that. They have got a frequency response of bottoming out at 20 hertz and up to a whopping 40,000 hertz, which is uh, more than usual. Normally, most headphones top out around about uh, 20,000 hertz, so you do have a little bit of extra frequency there as well. When it comes to actually driving these headphones, they're not the easiest to drive, if I'm completely honest with you. The actual rating of them is 60 ohms, so they're not really intended for smartphone use, that kind of thing. And you may find the benefit of using a separate amplifier, but certainly I've plugged them into my PC just through the re regular headphone jack on the top of the pass-through one, and the volumes have been absolutely fine, no issues there. They do drive nice and loud, and you do get to hear all the bass and basically sound as it was intended to be heard. They do have a reasonably high sensitivity at 98 dB, so that is pretty decent. 
anything really below 80 is not great and going to need a lot to drive them as you go up higher to kind of 100 110 those are actually going to be quite loud so these are kind of in that mid-range so even though they do require a little bit more voltage or a little bit more of a higher signal to run them the sensitivity is in a really good place the maximum power input for those of you who are wondering is 300 milliwatts so that's uh, that's pretty decent they they can be driven pretty hard again these are intended as studio type monitors so they're not kind of like the Beats headphones where you're just over amplified bass or that kind of dance profile. It's a relatively flat profile, so you can hear things as they were intended to be, which actually for me works out really, really well. So that I think is pretty much it for the uh, the Boya BY-HP2s. Let me know in the comments what you think of them. I'm actually really impressed with them. They probably will end up being one of my daily drivers. I do have a variety of headphones which I use, but actually these are the ones that I generally tend to keep going back to now. Now, going back to what we said at the very beginning of the video, maybe one of you lucky viewers may uh, be able to win a set of these. So if you do want to get a set of these, we will be doing a giveaway on our Discord chat, which will be available in the video description. So if you're a member of our Discord community, there'll be a post in the giveaway section. So all you need to do is click on one of the thumbs up buttons and you'll be automatically entered to the draw. The draw will be done in one of our live streams in the coming days and weeks. Uh, we'll keep you posted on Discord about that. So let me know what you think of these in the comments section below. And one thing which we should touch on, which we haven't actually discussed yet, is price, which uh, again, for most people, is going to be pretty important. Now, price-wise, these come in at around about the £50 mark in the UK on Amazon.co.uk. I think they're about 55 at the moment. So actually, price-wise, pretty decent. No real complaints there. Obviously, there are other alternatives on the market, but certainly these ones do certainly seem to fit the bill. So thanks for watching. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.